Thank you so much. The EPC European Policy Centre, we've worked extensively over the last years on looking at how better management of data and digital solutions could contribute to achieving the green transition. And I'll be happy to take a step back to the, big, to the bigger picture. For way too long on a policy level, the green transition and digital transformation, they've been promoted separately even though we now start to recognize that their alignment would actually bring enormous benefits. And as we now see a lot of focus being given to the twin green and digital transition, not least as the elements in the EU's recovery, it's, it would be great if this recognition could give new push for aligning the transitions, the transitions in both policy as well as in practice. What we see is that better management of data and deployment of digital solutions can provide the means to enable and even accelerate the transition to a more sustainable economy. They can help contribute to system change in our food, mobility systems, as well as in our energy systems. And I would say that there are three considerations to be kept in mind. Obviously, all starts with the data. This means asking the right questions, collecting the relevant data and managing and analyzing it so that it becomes information and ultimately knowledge, which again can be then used to support decisions, including our policy and investment decisions. Second, obviously, are the digital solutions themselves. And we've already heard numerous examples given this morning about what digital solutions can do. And we're seeing increasingly that tools like AI, sensors, IoT, blockchain applications are being used to support many novel sustainable business models and they offer great possibilities to green our economy even further. Uh, they can help us to consume fewer materials, less energy, reduce emissions, minimize waste, help us to be smarter with the resources we have. And while digital solutions help to connect governments, people, companies and things, they also enable the sharing of valuable information and co-creation of needed solutions. As a third consideration, uh, which has not been touched upon here today, is that digitalization also offers ways to enhance governance, including the monitoring, implementation and enforcement of relevant rules that are needed for the green transition. When it comes to then aligning the digital revolution with the energy transformation, digitalization offers many possibilities for enabling the functioning of smart grids and demand response, and as such, empowering consumers to play a more active role, especially with improving energy efficiency. We've heard uh, references being made to this a number of times this morning. Also, um, what has been mentioned is blockchain, uh, which is an interesting new player on the ground, as it's seen as a tool that could really help producers and consumers contribute to the clean energy transition, including development and uptake of renewables. We're seeing already several companies deploying blockchain and helping empower consumers to play a role in the clean energy transition. Blockchain can be used to monitor energy, energy prices, certify the origins of energy, uh, so that it really does come from renewable uh, resources. It can help enable decentralized trade between users in the grid, for example, between the local renewable energy producers and customers, and smart blockchain-based contracts and also cryptocurrencies are being used to invest in renewable energy installations. I myself, I have uh, solar panels on our roof, and although we use them to charge our car, power our heat pump system that heats our home, and even though I run the washing machine and dishwasher during today to make use of the electricity produced, even under the Brussels gray sky, we keep on producing more electricity than we use during the day. There's enormous untapped potential to support and benefit from consumer-driven power generation. And if we can use digital solutions, be it blockchain or other solutions, to enable community members and residents to be part of this clean energy transition and make efficient use of personal photovoltaic installations, for example, if we are helping people to buy and trade clean energy, this could surely make a valuable contribution to the clean energy transition. However, this said, and also something that has been mentioned um, several times this morning, for digital solutions to really play a meaningful part in the green energy transition, this obviously requires also greening the ICT sector itself. 
We know the ICT industry has a significant climate and environmental footprint due to its energy and resource consumption, greenhouse gas emissions, as well as e-waste that need to be addressed. And for example, I talked about blockchain. And while it can provide interesting possibilities, the current generation of blockchain requires significant amounts of energy, which will need to be addressed for it to become a viable future option. So going forward, it's key to ensure that also the digital revolution itself becomes energy efficient and is powered with clean energy. To conclude, I just want to say that we do not want digital revolution, new gadgets and digitally run operations for the sake of it. Digi digital solutions and data, they are instruments. We can decide for which purposes they are used. And just imagine if we steered the power of data and digital solutions to solve the greatest, most challenges, challenging problems we face today in our societies, in our economies. Just imagine if digitalization was turned into a real enabler for the clean energy transition. And what if we aimed, Europe aimed to become the best in the world in harnessing the possibilities with digitalization in energy transition? The possibilities are limitless. The potential is there, but for digitalization to really deliver, it needs to be steered in the right direction. And for this, we need to look at our policy framework, our financing instruments, and make sure that they contribute to greening the digital transition and the ICT sector, as well as accelerating the purpose-driven digitalization. It should be in our interest to benefit from data and digital solutions as we hope to address the bar barriers to the ongoing energy transition and empower people to play a role. Thank you.